Hello there. The British are eagerly awaiting how their new Prime Minister will get the financial crisis under control. His predecessor brought down the issue within days. And unlike the hapless trusts, Sunak and his finance minister take two weeks to do this. But the first details are already trickling through. According to media reports, the new British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak is planning savings and tax increases of 50 billion pounds. It's the equivalent of 57.8 billion euros, by the way, to compensate for the huge deficit in the budget. The Prime Minister and his Finance Minister, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, Jeremy Hunt, would aim for a plus of 10 billion pounds amid rising recession fears, the Times reported. The budget gap is therefore 40 billion pounds. Markets have calmed down somewhat, by, but the picture remains bleak, is what the, the PA news agency quoted a Treasury Department sources saying. After hundreds of billions of pounds have been borrowed and spent because of COVID-19 and support for energy bills, a massive financial black hole needs to be filled. Sunak's predecessor, Liz Truss, had announced tens of billions of pounds in tax cuts to encourage investment. But because the measures were only to be financed with debt, the financial markets were thrown into turmoil and Truss had to resign. The new finance minister... He already was new on the trust, but the first to withdraw almost all of the announcements. Even more tax increases are now possible, and tough decisions would have to be made, as he said. The tax burden is already higher than it has been for 70 years. And Hunt plans to present his medium-term financial plan on November 17th. Allegedly, both the planned increase in the defense budget by 3% by 2030 and the usual requirement to increase pensions in line with inflation are up for discussion. On the same day, the Office for Budget Responsibility will publish its economic forecast. It is expected to warn of a recession in the coming year. The Finance Minister or Chancellor of the Exchequer, who was appointed by Trust shortly before her resignation, had previously postponed his presentation of the budget by two weeks. Hunt said a short delay was warranted under the circumstances. Under the new Prime Minister, there is a prospect of long-term stability in the British economy. That's at least what many say. In this context, a short delay of two and a half weeks is, is the best way to ensure that we make the right decisions, said Hunt. But is peace finally returning to the British madhouse? At first glance, maybe. After the chaotic days of London with a sudden resignation of Prime Minister Liz Truss, the signs point to at least a little more calm. Rishi Sunak, the new man at 10 Downing Street, can at least claim to have accurately predicted his predecessor's fiscal crash number. Trust's ideological odyssey of tax cuts on credit would lead the country into a mega crisis, he had warned. And that's how it happens. The markets went crazy, the pound plummeted. Sunak is now seen as the level-headed one who should have been listened to better. But the new Prime Minister took office with an advance praise, but he only has a short grace period. He takes the old problems with him, and the Tories are still deeply divided, what you can see on his cabinet as well. The radical Brexit wing calls for a clear edge against the EU and a bar against further migration. Sunak must prove that he has a solution to the issue that is on everyone's mind, the rising inflation and the high energy prices. If he fails to do so, the country faces new turbulence. By then, at the latest, new elections are inevitable. And um, a German comedy show on Friday asked or was speculating about kind of four new prime ministers before Christmas. We will see. I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.